Today in this video, I'm going to be um, going over the Narcissist Wanted collection. Um, I do a full eye tutorial on it. I'm, yeah, so if you want to see that video, keep on watching. Starting out this video with my face makeup done except blush and highlight and my eyebrows done because I'm reviewing the um, NARS Wanted collection and there's only like blush, eyeshadow, and lips so I did everything else. Okay, so first I'm going to go into the Narcissist. The Narcissist Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging looks like this. Here's what the front of the actual palette looks like. Then, when you open it, it looks like this. 12 shades. I think they're all really pretty. So all I did before the start of this is I went in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, my eyeshadow primer potion, and I put that all over my eyelid. And then I took an E13 brush, and I went in with the shade... Oh, what the heck? I don't know how to say these. This shade. Going in with that. And dusting that all over my eyelids to set the eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go in with a Mikasa Beauty E300 brush. I do have a discount code for this website, so I will put it in the description below. And I'm going into the shade 7th Heaven, which is this shade right here. I'm blending that into my crease. They're pretty nice, pretty blendable. I do notice I have to dip back in a few times to get a lot of color, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take a Real Technique, Reels Technique, Real Techniques, I don't even know, Real Technique 203 brush, just looks like this. And I'm going to go into the shade Shadow Hill, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to blend that into my crease as well. Almost right on top of the first shade we put down, but still showing it a little bit. This one blends a lot better. Go in with a Morphe M513. And I'm taking the shade Temptress, which is this red shade right here and I'm taking that super lightly into the crease because we don't want this to be like a red look we want it to be more like brown neutral so just barely in the crease and then I'm taking a Morphe R39 into the shade Coconut Grove, which I th I think I'm getting all these names right. They're like upside down on the back. So I'm not really, I don't know. But it's this dark brown right here. And I'm taking that even tighter just to the outer corner though, so I'm not bringing it all the way in. Now I'm going to go do my other eye, and then I'm going to come back to do the lower lash line. I was doing my other eye. I completely realized I didn't do anything to my actual eyelid, so I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to do a half cut crease. So I'm going to take some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Ooh, that was a lot. And then I'm going to take a um, 
Morphe M422. It's a little too thick, but it'll work. And I'm taking like the absolute tiniest bit of concealer on my brush. And then I'm starting at the center of my eye. Oh, it's really hard to talk and do this. Starting in the center of like my eyelid and I'm just gonna pull down. So now we have that and then you kind of just move the concealer inward. What did, what did I just say? You're just gonna end up going back and blending out the harsh line so it doesn't matter if it's like not perfectly straight. Now I'm gonna go in with my finger into this bottom corner shade. Oh my gosh, my camera's gonna die. Into this bottom corner shade and just on my on my finger, I'm literally just gonna like dab it onto the concealer. And now it looks like that. Ooh, that's really pretty. And then I'm just gonna take the same blender brush that we used for the first transition color and go back in that color and then just blend the edge on the top out. The R39 brush into the dark shade and just blend out that harsh line. Gonna go back in with the shimmer. All right, first thoughts. It's losing its intensity just a little bit and it's not really staying on my eyelid. So that's kind of depressing. So now I'm actually gonna go finish the other eye off camera and then charge it for a second. I'll be right. I applied mascara to my top lashes and then I just took some of these um, Kiss individual lashes and I took the short ones and I just put them on like the very outer edge of my eye to give it kind of that like wing look. And then I dusted away the powder from under my eye. I noticed that these eyeshadows have so much fallout. So if you are going to use these, I think they are pretty good quality. But if you are going to use them, then I would definitely recommend like putting powder underneath your eyes. Because I had so much fallout that I didn't even like notice. Now, I'm going to take an M506, M506 brush, and I'm going into uh, this shade. And I'm going to put that all over my lower lash line. I'm blending it up to like the top eyeshadow. Hmm. I'm going to take a Y21 and I'm going to go into this um, maroon shade and I'm going to like super, super, super tight line that to my lower lash line. And I'm really focusing this on the outer corner. Oh, I'm blind. Now that I just blinded myself, I'm then going to go put mascara on my lower lashes and I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. This is like my favorite lower lash mascara because it doesn't clump. It literally just like, I don't even know, it like lengthens them. Okay. Shh, Maya. Um, so now that I did that, I'm done with the eyes. Now I'm going to go on to the Narcissist Wanted One Cheek Palette. The packaging looks like this. Ah. And here's the front of this. It's a blush palette. And I think there's like a highlighty shade in there. It's kind of, it's shimmery, so we're going to try it as a highlighter. I've already powdered my face. I've already applied um, 
bronzer and normally what I would do next is I would highlight so I'm gonna take my M501 brush into this shade right here hmm and apply that on my cheekbone I mean yeah it's not it's not what I normally do but like it's pretty on my nose yeah it's definitely pretty it's just not like Jeffree Star Uranus right I, I'm getting a little no Okay, on camera, it looks way more intense than it actually is. It's probably all the lights. But in person, it's really not that intense, like, whatsoever. Alright, so now I'm done with highlighting. I'm going into blush. I'm going to go into this shade right here. Actually, I'm going to mix these two. I burped. And then I'm just going to put that in between my highlight and my contour. Oh, okay. She's got some color. Oh, I kind of like that. Hmm. This is really, really pigmented. So when you're going in with this palette, you need to be like super light handed. Because I almost just messed up like all of my makeup. All in one take. Okay, so I did buy the, um, the lip set, the red lip set, so I'm going to swatch them for you. I have the shade Cherry Bomb, which looks like this, and then I have the shade Don't Stop, which looks like that. It's that one right there. I think I'm going to go in with that shade. It doesn't really match my eye look, but... I do really like the applicator, though. Alright, I probably should have used a lip liner for this. Because now it's getting super messy okay well i'm gonna have to clean this up con with concealer but my camera's gonna die again overall i like the lip it dries down pretty quickly um i really really do like the blush palette even though i didn't get to play with it as much as i would have wanted to um i thought it performed really well it was super pigmented um the eye palette the only thing is like i noticed that the lighter shades had a little bit more trouble like they weren't as pigmented as I was expecting them to be in comparison to the darker shades that they had in the same palette but they were all really pretty I mean they had like major 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 fallout but that's not that big of a deal when you can just put powder under your eyes so final conclusion I like it a lot I want to purchase the other two lip sets that they have because I just like I honestly like them so much like they feel so good on my lips like they don't feel super drying or anything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this please like this um please subscribe leave me a comment saying like what kind of video you want to see next that way I know like what you guys want and I'm not just like posting random videos that you guys aren't even going to watch um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh-huh, yeah. I didn't set my face! <sighs> I feel so much better.